When out on the road, garbage trucks spend their days going from location to location picking up trash or recycling. And even though the day starts with an empty truck, they eventually will get full over time. In between pickups, you may see these trucks standing still while things appear to be banging and crashing inside. The contents are likely being compacted by large hydraulic presses in the truck and this allows for additional capacity. However, the trucks will eventually become full and will need to empty the contents in order to continue making the rounds. Many of the larger waste management companies have their own recycling centers where trucks can go to offload the contents into huge piles and this will later be sorted and processed further. In addition to their own trucks pulling into this facility, the industrial recycling center in this video seems to accept waste from many different companies and at times there were a lineup of trucks waiting to get in. Once inside, the trucks appear to head for the scales where they can be weighed full and then later when empty. This allows the center to keep track of the amount of waste that is being handled. While filming this video, an employee came up to me to ask what I was doing in the walk. I explained the interest in garbage trucks and that seemed to satisfy his curiosity. When asked what would happen to all the waste that was being dropped off at this facility, he indicated that depending on what it was, it would be loaded onto larger trucks and in some cases even shipped out of the country to other recycling facilities. When done right, waste materials can often be used to make new materials and items and in some cases the waste products are used to produce energy. Depending on the type of waste being collected and in the capacity of the facility, recycling materials can be further sorted to ensure that the amount of contamination is minimal. Recycling reduces the ongoing need to find new materials and ends up reducing energy and air pollution. There are many types of materials can be recycled and these include paper, cardboard, plastics, rubbers, glass, textiles, different types of metals, electronics and batteries. Recycling can be a very expensive and labor-intensive process and oftentimes recycled materials will be used to produce similar products. For example it might be easier to use recycled paper products to produce cardboard as compared to trying to turn it back into paper. This can reduce the level of effort needed to get a recycled product, and this is especially true if the waste material is mixed or even contaminated. Thanks for stopping by, and please leave some comments. If you are interested in similar content, then go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get automatic alerts when new content is uploaded. See you again soon.